Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa. Before we get started with today's video, it would mean the world to me if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every single time that I post. What's up guys? It has been a little bit. I think I skipped one of my uploading days this week. So sorry about that. I keep repeating myself, but I'm in the middle of my wedding season and I have a lot of weddings to edit as well as like my everyday corporate job. So it starts to get a little overwhelming during this time of year, but I'm trying my best. I only have like one more weekend where I have weddings and that's my last wedding that I'm actually recording but I still have so much to edit but that's neither here nor there. Today's video I am going to be talking to you guys about decorating your apartment on a budget, how I find my prints, how I print them, how I frame them, all of my little secrets to how I get my apartment looking very modern and chic and stylish with the prints that I find. So before I go into the specific way that I like to find my prints, I wanted to give you guys some other options. There are a lot of websites that you can buy prints from, like Society6 is a good one. Um, I don't know the name off the top of my head of other similar websites, but there are a lot of other similar websites, um, as well as just going to Goodwill or a thrift store and looking at the paintings that they have there or the art that they have there and sometimes you can find some pretty good stuff but if you're like me and you want to have like as many options as you can possibly have society six is really great but again you can only find what's on that website goodwill and thrift stores is great but you can only you know your only options are like what is in the thrift store so my favorite way to find prints to decorate for my apartment is going on etsy and one option is to order you know already printed prints but another option is to buy digital downloads which is my personal favorite way to do it because you can print it on your own dime it downloads directly to your computer you have the files and the process in my opinion may be a little bit more time consuming but it's a lot cheaper so i have my laptop right here and i move the camera so i can put what i'm doing up on the screen because i am screen recording all right so i am on etsy right now like all the wedding stuff that's on my etsy basically what i like to do is start by saying museum exhibition prints digital download and this is kind of like where i start you can do if you have a specific artist in mind that you really like like let's say you want a monet you can do monet monet digital download and all of these you know monet prints will come up you'll know that they're that they're you will know that they are digital downloads because the price is really low so it's like $4.59 $3 and this is because you are simply buying the file that's all that you're buying you are buying a JPEG that will download to your computer after you purchased it so if you have a specific artist in mind you can go about it that way or if you kind of just want to explore my personal favorite style is like museum exhibition type prints so i'm scrolling through here this blue one i actually really love like i have it in my cart i'm thinking about buying it um there's some keith herrings van gogh's um i also really love this green one this one i'm like we're looking for like two more prints and this is one where i like would not be surprised if it ends up being one of them i love it so much um i just love the bright green i also love bernard villamont i think his pieces are really cool so as you can see there's some like really unique and interesting pieces that pop up and if i really like one of these and i'm like okay i want to go to this etsy shop and see what else they have because usually these shops have a lot more than what you're looking at so you can go here and you can like browse through what they have see if you like anything else and then you can go back I'm gonna go into this one and look at their store yeah so all these are like super cool Avs Klein is another one I really like because he uses this cobalt blue color like all the time and I'm really into that color right now 
So, well, this one isn't a digital download now, is it? So, I mean, if you want something like this, if you want something that's already gonna be printed for you, this would be an example of like what you would buy. But I am looking for a digital download. Oh, that's because I opened his store, that's why. Um, let's do one of, let's do this, because I think it's cool. Um, so as you can see under this highlights area, it says digital download. What you will receive is a file. It's kind of important to go down and look, look at the description because you are going to see the sizes that are included. And this is going to be important for deciding what size you want, but also when you're printing it. So I really like the two to three ratio. I get a lot of, um, 24 by 36, which is pretty big. It's, I'll include a video of like what that looks like on my own wall But if you want something like even bigger like 30 by 40 like look at the ratio in which you're printing I think The place that I print I print through Walgreens all the time. I love Walgreens um, They have a lot of the 2 by 3 ratio So it's just kind of easier for me, but you can find a way to print pretty much any of these sizes but keep in mind you're gonna need to find a place to print it and a, and to find a place um, to buy a frame for it so you want to use some of the more common um, frame sizes and printing sizes because it's just going to be easier for you to find the supplies that you need yeah that's just what i wanted to point out there make sure you're looking at the different size ratios that is offered um, in the digital download because that is going to be important for you later on so as you can see um literally the two that i were, was talking about are already in my cart is the word that i was looking for. I am going to buy this one for educational purposes, but also because I literally might put it up in my apartment. So I'm going to go to buy it now. All right. So it says, thanks for your order. Um, they sent me like my receipt and stuff. And what you're going to want to do is go to view downloads, view downloads. This is still kind of processing my payment. It might take a second. There it is. All right, so then you're gonna download the file. It's gonna obviously appear in your downloads. Usually it doesn't give me like a Dropbox link, but here we are. Um, so I'm just gonna download all of these because I don't really know what exactly I want to use, like which size that I wanna use. So I'm just gonna download them all. You can see they appear down here. And boom, I have the print. It's literally that easy. But I need to go back because I need to see what size I want for my example. I don't really like the way that these are labeled. Usually they're like more specifically labeled by the ratio. And luckily Walgreens will like tell you if, um, like the printing isn't correct. It's like posters, I think. There you go, 24 by 36. Create now. And then you are gonna upload the photo. Guess I'm just gonna have to guess because I'm doing this quickly for educational purposes, but definitely make sure that you're like trying your best to find the right ratio. Um, I know sometimes, oops, I need to change the orientation of this. There we go. All right, so yeah, this isn't the right size. Let me upload. I'm just gonna upload all of them. Right. That looks a little bit more right. That looks better. That's wrong, that's wrong. Okay, so I think this is the best one. Um, yeah, so as you can see, you can kind of use the Walgreens um, guidelines to help you. Then we're gonna go proceed to cart. All right, this is the most important part. Get the Honey like browser add-on. Honey is the best. And especially when you're doing these prints, Walgreens 
always has some kind of discount, always. Like, I've done this so many times at so many random points throughout the year, there is always at least a 40% off coupon and I think I just saw a 50% off one so that's why this ends up being so much more cost effective because what you would buy for like 60 bucks you're gonna end up getting for 30 bucks I promise you okay continue to cart literally it took me from 30.99 to 9.30 like so so far the total of this is like 15 ish bucks so you'll proceed to check out by the print. Um, you can either order it to your house or if you have a Walgreens near you, you can do like a pickup. Um, I usually do a pickup because I'm super impatient and I just like want to get it all done. So once you get the print, you are going to go to, this is where you could come, you could go to Goodwill, find a frame that's the same size, or you can go to Hobby Lobby, Michael, don't go to Hobby Lobby actually. You can go to Michael's, Target, Walmart, and whatever you want. I really, really like the Target um, frames. They are like a little bit more costly, but like for me, I'm willing to do it. This, in fact, is like my actual favorite frame. Um, it's in, weirdly out of stock right now, but as you can see, it's, it's $27, so that does bring the price up a lot, but you can do cheaper ones like this poster board. A 24 by 36 is literally $10. So that would bring your cost to around 25 and then plus tax. So you have framed, printed, and picked a print for less than $30. And this is why I literally tell everybody I know to do this because you aren't like picking from a finite group of art. Like, Etsy, I will scroll on Etsy and go through the pages for hours. Like I'm constantly looking on Etsy. I always wanna find like really unique prints, something that like really sets my apartment apart. I love decorating my apartment and you can really have like high quality art in your apartment for a fraction of the price. And it's just so fun. And because it's so cost effective, it's really easy to switch in and out the the prints that you do because you can just buy a super cheap digital download file, print it again. I would suggest donating the one that you're replacing, but you know, do whatever you want. So that is my little trick. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's literally so, 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 so fun to really make your apartment your own and let your, the art that you pick really describe who you are and your personality and your likes and your tastes and stuff like that so i hope this was super helpful um i again i literally tell all my friends to do this a lot of my friends have done this so if you're interested in a budget-friendly way to decorate your apartment i hope you try out this method and let me know how you like it if you enjoyed today's video it would mean the world to me if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every single time that i post leave a like leave a comment whatever you feel like doing and i will see you in my next video bye